Sitting in the house with my trainers on Winter rain about so the days are long We all planned a trip to the beach But I spent too many minutes in the shower so my mates are gone They did warn me but I'm a tiny bit vexed I give them all a piece of my mind in the text And if they ring my phone I'll pretend I can't hear it You could probably call it a fight to the death As soon as I could talk any sense as a kid They said my attitude was beastly, it still is Proof that I was born to be offensive king The only guy ruder than me is Prince Philip I'm not sorry that they have to read my nonsense I showered for long enough to clean my conscience how could I be when they're out by the sea while I'm trying to keep my head above deeper problems? This is not a happy song, I've got it badly wrong Missed my chance and now it's gone, whoa It's a nice day for those plans, but time waits for no man You're trying to call your gang, they're lying on the sand And it's sitting in your house, it's your business now When to figure it out, you send signals out But you fear they were ignored, you're the chairman of the board it's a nice day for those plans where time waits for no man You're trying to call your gang, they're lying on the sand And if sitting in your house is your business now And to figure it out you send signals out But you fear they were ignored, you're the chairman of the board Sitting in the shade as the day drags on Had a cigarette break that was eight flags long The future doesn't look that bright to me And it ain't because pain has Ray-Bans on So I've given up, I'm getting sick of calling mates And I'm looking for a heroine, it's all in vain It's the wrong day to phone girls, their fiancés I give them a ring but they're all engaged Can't go for a ride cause my bike's fucked up I consult my neighbour and see if he can fix it Doesn't think the problem can be solved today Cause it involves more labour than millivan triplets I give up all hope, it gets dramatic I even watch a couple of soaps Then a girl calls back and says we meet in an hour I'm guessing I'll be needing a shower This is not a happy song I've got it badly wrong Missed my chance and now it's gone Whoa, it's a nice day for those plans Where time waits for no man You're trying to call your gang they're lying on the sand And it's sitting in your house, it's your business now When to figure it out, you send signals out But you fear they were ignored You're the chairman of the board It's a nice day for those plans But time waits for no man You're trying to call your gang They're lying on the sand And it's sitting in your house, it's your business now When to figure it out, you send signals out But you fear they were ignored You're the chairman of the board I'm searching for a way to make things right All I've been doing so far is wasting time So instead of going hunting for action I'll just sit right here and wait for something to happen It's a nice day for those plans But time waits for no man You're trying to call your gang They're lying on the sands And it's sitting in your house, it's your business now When to figure it out, you send signals out But you fear they were ignored you're the chairman of the board Said it's a nice day for those plans But time waits for no man You're trying to call your gang They're lying on the sand And if sitting in your house is your business now When to figure it out you send signals out But you fear they were ignored You're the chairman of the board Michael Payne, how you, how you doing? doing? Good, Good to see you mate, welcome to Secret Sessions Yeah cheers, thanks for having me First up, tell us about the track you just uh, performed for us. It's uh, it's my current single, uh, Chairman of the Board. Uh, it was written by um, myself uh, and sort of the music was written by Adam Coltman and Jake Gosling. It's, uh, it's a sort of summary single and it's basically, it's a sort of autobiographical song about the fact that I take too long in the, uh, in the shower and the consequences right. of, uh, of, of my actions. And, uh, and also the fact that I never want to uh, admit sort of any sort of wrongdoing and then admit that it was my fault and just blame my mates for sort of leaving me so it's just about how I'm a, an, an asshole basically right yeah. so are you are you chairman of the board in the I am song the chairman you're the, the chairman yeah, of the exactly, board yeah. all right okay but then obviously in, in the hook I address people who have the same types of problems uh, let's uh, let's talk about your debut album because mm. it's uh, imminent now it's, it's yeah. gonna be releasing it really soon end of August end of August yeah. uh, how do you feel now it's complete it's ready to go well I've, I feel the same as I felt um, since I completed I completed my album maybe in um, I'd say like July August right. even before I signed the record, my record deal, deal. Yeah. yeah 
Um, so my album has been complete for ages and I've just been sort of itching to get it out but I know that there's this, obviously there is a process that sort of, uh, that, that, that sort of, you know, there's, a, there's certain procedures, you know, releasing singles to promote the album and stuff like that. Sure. You know, that all that has to happen. And I just, you know, I wrote an album and, and you know, there are good songs on the album. So obviously there are songs that you re release first, but I, I'm just itching for people to hear the album as one solid piece of work. As a whole? Yeah. And is there a theme then, would you say, yeah. throughout the whole album? What's, yeah. what's the theme? There's the a album? running theme. There are various characters on the album who sort of pop up. Um, now and again, and might even sort of meet as well. So the, the album is about the lives of about six or seven different people. Okay. Yeah. And are these people that you know? Are no, are these real the, people. Are you just make imaginary. Them up? Yeah. Just okay. Make them up, yeah. Um, but the, you know, they go through everyday sort of uh, trials and tribulations. Um, so hopefully, people can sort of relate and identify with a specific character, especially perhaps. And the album title as well, uh, Blame Miss Barclay. Yeah. Tell us the, uh, the, the, the Miss, idea behind that. Well, Miss Barclay was uh, my English teacher. I went to two secondary schools. I went to the London Rotary, which was like a really prestigious sort of uh, uh, school. Uh, and then I got expelled from there. And Can I ask to, why? Um, just, just the culmination of the event. Just like they, they, they kind of just got tired of me after a while. <laughs> can, um, can you expel someone for just getting tired? Well, yeah, I was doing because I was doing these. Like, I, I was never really, I was never really bad. Do you get what I'm saying? I was, I was never really like, you know, like, you know, I had fights and stuff, and, and but I, I was never, I was never like super malicious or anything. Like, sure. Uh, and. <clears throat> And they just did. Did, they, I read, did I read somewhere? So tell me if you don't want to, if this is all wrong, or whatever. But you had a run in with Tony Blair, son. I did, yeah. Well, we again, well, that was that was an example of one of my fights. But boys fight. This is something we do, right? Okay, yeah, this is something they do. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a man. I like to think I'm a man now. But uh, boys, boys fight, right? And yeah. and uh, like we we had a fight. We both threw punches. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, he was. The Prime Minister's son. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, yeah, and I was just this dude from yeah. this kid from Hackney that, uh, that they probably thought should never have been in the school in the first place. <laughs> okay. So they never really liked me anyway. And uh, after I had a fight with you and Blair, which I won, incidentally. Should they, we uh, high five that or is that wrong? Let's high five. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they. they oh, yeah. They, uh, they put me down a couple of sets. I was meant to do my GCSEs a year early, right? Yeah. And they put me down um, because, of, because I'd had a fight, not because I, I lacked any intelligence. They, they put me down and I lost all motivation. And then I just started being a little shit in school. Right. They expelled me after a while. Went to this other school, met this teacher called Miss Barkley, right. who was my English teacher. Had always written in a sort of facetious manner, in a sort of sarcastic manner. I, d I always wrote creatively, even when I, technically I wasn't supposed to, basically. Mm. And she always kind of encouraged that. Um, so I thrived when uh, when it came to writing creatively. Do you know what I mean? And so when you met her, would you say that was a bit of a turning point then for you? Yeah, I'd say yeah, because I always did it, but she kind of uh, alerted me to the fact that I did it. Do you know what I mean? I always did it without thinking, but she was like, "You've actually got something here that you yeah. could probably like, you know, use." Do you know what I mean? And uh, so then I did, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of got me standing on this stage right now. That's so cool. And, 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 and then, you know, and, and you named the album after her. Do, do, do you exactly. stay in touch with her at all? Is she aware I'm not, of I haven't seen her since I left school. Oh, I, left, yeah. I left St. Aloysius in 2000. I haven't seen her since. Yeah. But we, we, we are trying to find her, actually. Cool. I want to let her know. Yeah, you should do that. That's mm. wicked. That's so cool. I, I, <laughs> this is going to fuck me up for future uh, TV appearances, probably. I, I don't like Terry Wogan for some strange reason. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just, I think I'm quite scared of Terry Wogan. I don't even think it's like I dislike him. I just think I'm quite scared of Terry Wogan. I'm scared, I have Wogan phobia.